Okay, hey everybody, welcome back to another part of Fate Spell. I'm doing something a little naughty before we really jump into today's episode here. Um, she wanted to play in a leaf pile, and I thought this one was actually clean. It is not. I don't really care. <laughs> I want to see it, so we'll play in it, and then she'll burn it, and then I will just skip on over to... Uh, the actual today's activities, which is spooky day at the lighthouse. So, without further ado, this is my first time seeing, uh, a leaf pile and, you know, playing and such. I wonder if she'll get a moodlet since it's nasty. I thought she'd actually get in it, but... I bet it, they would get a nasty moodlet if they, like, woohooed in it. Anybody remember the, the leaf piles in Sims 3? They were huge. <laughs> I actually like the leaf piles design for Sims 4 better, I think, actually. I like how they have them all sticking out. and It's a slightly pile, smaller pile, but it's still definitely a pile. What are you doing with this person? No, you are not chatting with him. I don't even know who that is. Okay, so that was that. And, bonus, she did not get a nasty moodlet. So that works for me. Why would you cook a meal? Alright, burn that. I want to see. Oh, boy. Whoosh! Well, that was a whoosh. They're, don't you all stand in a little close to it? Can they catch on fire? What you doing there? You're going to browse the web? Nice, lovely little fire. I wonder how long it's going to take to burn. We shall see. Maybe. Eventually. Still doing pretty good. Uh, nobody knows, I think. Anyway. Okay. Well, that was a little bit of an excursion before our actual uh, uh, thing, so I will be right back, and we're going to see you at the lighthouse. So, yeah. Alright, we are back. We are here. Um, we're having a spooky party. Um, let's see. So, I just had um, Jim invite everyone he knew that's a townie. So we've got Jerome, we've got Felicity, we've got Evangeline, Cora, um, there's Janelle. Uh, so we have all the Carsons, and we also have Rylan, Dorothy, he absolutely hates Rylan, okay, that's <laughs> good to know. Um, and for those of you who need a bit of a refresher, this is the lighthouse just realized I forgot to add something to it that I meant to do before I hit record oh well um, let me find it right quick guys sorry about that okay so since this is a spooky party we are going to add uh, wait hang on I can add it to these things can't I nope I guess we'll just add one to each side right there, and then we're going to add a pumpkin carving station. Now for those who are wondering what this is from, this is the Spooky Day Pack. Um, Spooky Day Pack has the candy bowl and it has this, and it also allows you to play to do spooky games. Uh, spooky games, sorry, no. Uh, spooky parties, okay, we're just going to throw these somewhere. I'm just going to put, actually it doesn't matter, I'll just sell them, because I can just copy and paste it's back, so, yeah, that should be good, right, that, that should be fine, yeah, that's fine, anyway, uh, yeah, um, without further ado, let's, uh, do this, so, let's see, we are, traditions for these folks are drinking, uh, get something to do with fire, spooky spirit, uh, which is what the pumpkins are for, 
Um, and then of course trick or treat, which you can also fulfill using the trick or treat bowl, which is really nice. So, um, let's see, Jem is going to order drinks, order drinks, no, can I order drinks for everybody? Or not, okay, um, you know what? Let's just come on over there and light that. She loves to drink, so we're just going to see what we can do about getting her drunk. Um, <laughs> and uh, so what I have found is when I invite people out somewhere, they will just stand there with their phones. So I'm going to do my best to combat that from happening by inviting everybody to the fire and also we are going to start a gathering which is of course Dor Dorothy and Jim so this is the lighthouse right um well hang on let me actually get them kind of going here and then I'll well no I won't I'll, I'll I'll do a quick little few minute thing so I built this um I call it the lighthouse um everyone calls it the lighthouse because this has been like an ancient type of thing that's been on uh this island for a good long time and no one really knows exactly where it came from or what its purpose was i mean it was a lighthouse but over time it just got so old and dilapidated um and the historical society of uh windenburg here in fate spell um they wanted to keep it uh nice and natural so they just kind of kept the lighthouse right but as you can see it's got all this this type alien things right and let me actually it might actually help yeah so it it gets really crazy well, it's become so old and abandoned, really, that except for the occasional caretaker who comes out every now and then, um, it just, it's, it's left alone. Except the, the, the teenagers, you know, they're always looking for crazy things. People started noticing that ever, it started to glow. And, and things happen like it was a really bad freak storm type of thing and after that they just started realizing over time that it began to glow and it just kept getting bigger and bigger the glowing and so teenagers everybody would joke like it's haunted or, or something and um, then the teenagers would be like hey you I dare you to go 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 look at the lighthouse go I dare you to go and uh, visit the island and uh, go and, and touch the wall of the lighthouse. Yeah, you're going to you're gonna die. The ghost is going to get you. And so they kept doing the dares. And they realized that all these plants were here. It was weird and crazy. And, of course, teenagers, you know, they're all like, oh, yeah. But they realized that, one, the lighthouse seems alive, right? It seems very much alive and, and crazy. And the owl, it moves, the owl's eyes seemed to follow them, but they realized if they didn't do anything bad to the lighthouse, the owl wouldn't do anything to them. Like they, they wouldn't do that. So they figured out it was a nice, good party spot. So they pulled, pulled, brought, you know, things, and uh, this is like the party spot now. But underneath, no one ever really figured out why it's become so alien-like. I'm about to show you. Because, um, because of this, there was an alien portal here, and the council, so there's only a few alien portals, right, and all of them should be under lock and key by the council, of a uh, six council, council. Unfortunately, it seems like somebody stole one or made one or something. There's one that wasn't accounted for, and it went haywire, and it came here, and it crashed through the lighthouse, and it kind of popped in under here, and it made all these walls and the various things, and the growth began to spread, and it went up. And it went up and it turned the walls to be radioactive craziness. And no human can survive 
down here. The radiation and the whatever is just too much. Uh, unless you are of alien descent, which Dorothy seems to be. And Jim, of course, is an alien. He was sent by the council. Um, so they are... The council has sent many guardians. Many guardians. How many exactly have they sent? They have sent however many of these there are. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, did I count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven guardians to come down and try to fix it and reason with it, and they all died. Because the portal does not want to be moved. So now now Jim has been sent here he volunteered to come down and be the guardian of this lighthouse they call it the lighthouse captivation or six of enchantment um, because everyone's drawn here because of the portal and there's no way to turn it off no way to fix it so he has been sent here to be a guardian to you know they're gonna turn this over time into an alien place to be you know this this right here but um this is this is their club door and such so they are very much regulars here they're constantly watching they're making sure that the portal is happy that the people are happy that everyone's safe because it's it's not a good thing so um you know yeah uh, yeah, so that is that. And there's some more people that have died here and such. So it's just a crazy place. And, uh, yeah, so that would be the story. Anyway, so let us get going here. And, uh, Dorothy, she, oh, hang on. They're all coming. What? Wait, 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 what? They're all doing something? Excuse me? Okay, so I guess on community lots it works, but for festivals it does not. Unless I actually need to add something to... Oh, okay, maybe that might be it. Or maybe that's not it. I... I don't know, I think I need to test this in another game, actually. One that actually has things to do. So, we are going to... We're just going to have them all dance together. And she is definitely... Well, she's not going to dance at the moment. She's going to get some of that. She's going to grab a treat. Uh, do you know Damien Teresi? You do know him. What about you? You don't know him. Good to know. Um, but yeah. So, let me pull down the walls. This took me forever and a day to make, but actually I think it's about time to um, upload it. What I'm thinking is if anyone wants this, uh, I'm going to remove that and just put the wall back. I want still there. And then y'all can do with this as y'all please. And then after I will probably game. Please don't do something crazy. Oh, Jesus. Um, and then after they fix this up, then I will upload that as well. But, yeah, this is, uh, the lighthouse. And it was really fun for me to build, and it took forever and a day. <laughs> but, yeah, and this is also classified as a nightclub, so that's pretty cool. And the walls glow different colors, uh, as you go up. Because you're getting further and further away from the radiation or from the, the allure, per se. Up to this point where it doesn't do that, but somebody's added this, and all of this just kind of boom, boom, boom happened. So. Let's see, everybody's dancing, everybody's having a good time. Why don't you go and introduce yourself? Oh, Cadence, what's wrong, sweetie? <laughs> Let's see, she's drinking, she's having a good time. Let's see, and I think we're also, I'm gonna have her grab a treat. Right, who does this from, why? 
This person looks so similar. I don't remember who it looks like. If it's someone in another save of mine. Or it might be... It might be a bell guru. Uh, I, I don't know. I keep seeing her and I'm like, oh my god, is that Sim? But it, I don't know her. <laughs> it's just a random. She's beautiful, but she's a random. Oh, Jackson's here. Cool. Oh. Oh. I Oh, that was probably not a smart idea. <laughs> oh, wait, no, she got it. Okay. Uh, come on over here and give him a cheerful introduction. I did not know you had charisma skill. Uh, also, can you give him a cheer? <gasps> Guys, does that not sound like Sims 2 music to you? A little bit? Hold up, wait for it. Oh, hey, it's Liberty Blakely. Cool. Invite, uh, invite her. Chat with her as well. Oh, and Blair Kenyon. Cool. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. I love Sims 2. Oh, that makes me want to go play it right now. <sighs> okay, so they're going to be in, uh, introducing themselves to basically everybody that they don't know. Because I do want them to know as many people as possible that are part of this uh, town here. So there's Elena. So she actually ignores the costume tradition because she's lazy, but she loves the trick-or-treat and the drinking. Because why is that not... It has been. Okay, whatever. I guess they won't be doing that one then. Uh, I thought that did. Because it... it, it uh, I don't know. Uh, I think I need to be home for that. Oh well. We might have them go home a little early. Uh, anyway. Yeah, I really want to go play Sims 2 now. Let's see, and then let's have him come over here and order a drink as well. Order his favorite drink. She needs to make a pumpkin. We have so many Sims here, it's insane. Somebody just walked through there. Oh my god. Tristan is out here. What are you doing? Oh, you're just chatting with her. I don't want you to chat with her anymore. Woo, go Jackson! Did not know he had dance skill. Alright. What do you want to do? You want to chat with Cora? Well, you can come out here and chat with Cora. That's no problem. Why would you complain about Spooky Day? Uh, let's see. You know Jerome. You know her. You know her. You don't know Tristan. So give him a truthful introduction. You do know him. Anybody in the water? Nobody's in the water yet. I think it's more of a summer thing, honestly. Let's see. Ooh, lots of dance moves. Ooh, hey, Annabelle's here. May you please hurry up and do that. And then come over here and give her a cheerful introduction. Who knows, if there's any alien toddlers that pop up, you might want to um, and adopt them. You never know. Uh, Annabelle here is our orphanage lady. Uh, Y'all will be meeting her when, 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 when. Nope, 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 nope. What the crap? Did I not add her to this list? I, I, I didn't. I knew I was missing somebody. Gosh dang. I didn't. Uh, probably near the end of the rotation, more than likely, just because. Hey, Anika's here as well. Jem. Hey, Jem. Come over here. Oh, yeah, there we go. Give her a cheerful introduction. Everybody's doing something. 
There are a billion people here, and I am loving this. Oh, don't know Cadence either. Come over here and give her a cheerful introduction. And you do know Janelle. Janelle is actually kind of nice to people. It is surprising the crap out of me. Felicity's making a pumpkin! Yay! Um. Uh. Where is... So there's Jerome. There's her. Where's Cora? Does anyone know where Cora is? Cora is right there. Well, he has earned quite a bit of money on his holiday. Come over here and... Deep conversation. Why not? You know her, so I don't care anymore. Uh, okay. I don't know why our DJ decided to go away. Uh, alright, so I think we know most people now. Um, come on over here and you need to make a pumpkin, my dear. So, I'll have you carve a pumpkin. You're gonna carve a cock eyed. Why don't you carve a green one? Why not? Let's see. It's getting a little crazy in here, isn't it? Let's see. Actually. Oh, okay, no. I am on the right floor. Sorry if my game's a little laggy. I'm not quite sure why. I mean, it's not necessarily laggy, it's just a little slower than I'm usually. Uh, used to what I'm used to. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. You know, well, I mean... Okay, why is everyone just freaking out and slow right now? Oh, wait, no, she walked closer, so maybe? Yep, there we go. And you just wanted to chat with her. So that solves that. We have been stuck on spooky day for... Oh, the spooky party for ages. Okay. He is doing a drink. Why don't you also grab a treat? She is taking forever and a day to make a pumpkin. Oh, wait, no, she's already made it. Um... It's a masterpiece. Has a wicked plan. Okay, we'll just take that pumpkin. Thanks, Felicity. Um, and then he will make a... Ooh, we have multiple. Let's make an owl. And we're going to make a white owl. Because it's just kind of cute. So I get... Well, I guess that's connected then to your painting? What's his painting at? Maybe... Oh, maybe it's handiness? That would potentially make sense if it was connected to his handiness, because she has max handiness and he has level 8, so. So she's doing that. The spooky party is taking forever and a day to shut down. I don't know why. Yep, it's handiness. Cool. Okay. Oh. And he, he, you, whoa, hold up. Okay, so you need to go to the bathroom. Pee like a champion in the bush. Carve, 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 carve. We're going to carve, what we, what we, what we said an owl and a white pumpkin. Alright, so then after this, we are probably done here. How many points are they getting for this? 30, okay, they're at 500 now. Sweet news. Um, hmm. Oh, that's Christian Miller. I thought that looked like somebody of mine. Nobody. Cool. Everybody's dancing. Everybody's having a good old time. Tradition complete. You also need to go to the bathroom, so you're going to fertilize that. And the spooky party is over. Everybody who was invited is going to leave now. But anyway, so after this, uh, we will be off over to um, Oasis Springs, and we're gonna, uh, you know, meet somebody over there. And then I'm going to go through. I need to go through and double check and truly make sure that everybody's added to my list. I think so. 
I think everybody is. I think I just accidentally missed the orphanage. I think I was thinking about it, but I forgot to add it to my list. Okay, so. Perfect. Everything is done except for the trick-or-treat, which I don't know if we can necessarily do. I mean, they were home before, and I kind of was paying attention, kind of wasn't. So. Give her some privacy. Everybody's coming and going. Let's see. Let's see. He is tipsy. Blazing drink. And what's this? Feeling focused from the genius trait. Yep, it is. And you miss. She is not feeling anything anymore. Even though she did drink. Okay, so, oh, yeah, well, we're not going to be able to do anything, so there, she's just going to order another drink. <laughs> At least his day went good. I gotta figure out, they, I gotta figure out that, or I might not do that, I don't know. I don't know, oh, it's raining. What's this? Open umbrella. Successful, and she got to do some things, but not a lot of things. So he got 500 for that. Does he have enough? He does not. Yeah, this is laggy, and I don't know why. It's just a little laggy. Just enough. Yeah, so I'm trying to get enough for them to do the uh, money tree. That would be cool. And anyway, so she needs to harvest harvest bulls. I think I have some now. Wait, I'm sorry, what? Thursday, so he does work. Rip, she doesn't work tomorrow. Oh wait, no, today's Thursday, she does work. Okay, good. I was about to say no. On Friday, I move over to o Oasis Springs. Okay, cool. But anyway, guys, so yeah, this is the lighthouse. And, uh, see, it's nice and crazy looking. And actually, let me give you a little more of a tour. Got a hot tub right here. Of course, you've got your diving things and everybody can swim. And it's just crazy. All these geysers, just pretend they're geysers. Um, got a little bench to sit down over here, like if you want to go do some kissy 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 blah, 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 blah. smoochy smoochy. Got this. Nobody really knows what it does. Does anyone know? Can you still put the beans? Like if you get them from the uh, from checking the uh, what's his face? Can you still do that? Because that would be cool. I actually didn't do that challenge. There's a mixologist there. Okay. Um, and this is actually how you get down to the basement. There we go. Yep, see? There you go. Um, yeah, and uh, got a nice little space if anyone wants to do some bubble lore. And then, of course, you've got this for Wahoo, or if you just want to stare at the stars, because this is really cool. I mean, you've got an excellent view and also they they um their their house is like right there so oh hey dane stone's right over there dane stone is all the way over there by their house man i love isn't this just beautiful like and then of course there's that creepy bird i i i yeah Ooh, oh oh beautiful sorry that'll take a picture of that anyway guys so uh, bit of a longer part. I do apologize for that. Uh, but yeah, so this concludes our Lighthouse Guardians, uh, rotation for this rotation, and we will see them next rotation for Harvest Fest. So, uh, I will see you guys next Sunday in Oasis Springs with another family. Bye!